I thank you for coming. Uh, my name is Yuri Ranan. I'm the father of Natalie Ranan and my ex-wife Judith Ranan. Uh, I've been waiting for this moment for a long time, for two weeks. I haven't been sleeping for two weeks. Tonight I'm gonna sleep good. I spoke with my daughter earlier today. She sounds very good. She looks very good. She was very happy and she's waiting to come home. Her mother has a little scratch on her hand, but she told me it's nothing. She's okay. I spoke earlier with President Biden. I thank him for his uh, concern, for his uh, helping with the release of them. And uh, he was very, very nice. Uh, I spoke with the uh, Governor Pritzer, and he was nice. And I thank him very much for his effort. And hopefully I'm going to see them next week. Next week is Natalie's birthday on the 24th. And we're going to celebrate her birthday here in my home. Sir, tell us about the emotions of this moment, the phone call you got, and just what you felt in that moment. Okay, I did not get a phone call. First of all, I got a lot of uh, pictures from the TV in Israel. They showed, uh, they showed the release of them. And uh, later I got a phone call from the IDF. They told me they're going to meet them. And then they're going to call me. After they met them, they called me. And I spoke with my daughter then. Yuri, on that phone call with your daughter, was she able to tell you anything about her ordeal, what she's endured these past two weeks? No, she did not tell me anything. But she told me they treat her nice and she was very good. What are you looking forward to most when you first see your daughter? I'm sorry? What are you looking forward to most when you first see, see your daughter? I'm going to hug her and kiss her and uh, it's going to be the best day of my life. Can you describe what it's been like to wait and not know? It's the worst, uh, the worst uh, situation. I did not sleep at night and uh, my head always been in Israel. Lots of phone calls in Israel. Lots of TVs. I've been glued to the TV for two weeks, hoping for any good news. Did Finally, you? it came. Did you I did not speak with my uh, ex-wife. They did not talk about it, but uh, they look good. They look good and uh, sound very good. Very happy. Did you think this moment? would happen? Did you ever lose hope these last couple of weeks? I did not lose hope. What kept you going? Uh, praying and uh, just uh, waiting for this moment. Can you tell us about Natalie and what makes her special? She's an 18 years old teenager, typical American teenager, teenager care about her nails, about her hair, about her fashion but she sounds very 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 good what now from here as far as you understand it what is the process to get her back to the u.s i think uh just to get a ticket and fly back and we're thinking next week early next week or I, specific... i'm not sure yet i have to talk with natalie but i believe next week early next week they'll fly here and i'll meet them here in the airport Sir, just, just more on the emotions of this moment. I mean, when you, when you realize this was happening, my daughter is fine, my ex-wife is fine, they are free, what was in your heart? Uh, big relief. Big, big relief. I thank God. And I hope for the release of the other hostages. What was the first thing I told her I love you, I miss you very much. And I, I spoke to her for a minute or two, but uh, it was very, very emotional. What, what did you and the president talk about? What did he say? I just thank him for his effort. He told me he knows how I feel. Uh, he's working on the release of other hostages, American hostages. And uh, that's it. 
We have a message for the families of the other hostages people unaccounted for. I say pray and hope for good. I'm sorry, I came here. Oh, it was the best feeling. It was the best feeling. Can you introduce us to these lovely ladies behind you? To my wife, Paola, my sister, Sigal, and my stepdaughter, uh, Rila. Did, did anybody want to, did any of you want to speak? Sigal, you, you have, yeah. Say something Absolutely. Um, I'm so happy you're coming. A little closer, I'm sorry. I'm so happy you're finally coming home. I've all missed you so much and hoped you were alive and safe and we know you're so brave and strong and that's how you and your mom made it through this. Can you say your name is the, yeah, can you spell your name for me? Um, Frida, F-R-I-D-A, A-L-O-N-S-O, -O. Um, 19. Paula, you want to say something? Uh, <laughs> I don't know, I love Natalie so much. I have faith in the world, I have faith in peace, and I want to thank everybody who was involved in bringing them, bringing them back safe. I, I cannot express how happy we are. I, I think it's the best day of our lives. Yeah. Sigal? Yes. Natalie and Judith, we love you so much, and we couldn't wait to see you here. We're going to see you hopefully next week, and we're going to celebrate, we're going to have a big party, and we're going to hug you and kiss you. and. Uh, we're just gonna, this is a small joy in our family, but hopefully for all the other hostages and all the other families, just keep praying and hopefully good news will come. Yes, Sigal, S-I-G-A-L, and the last name, Ranan. Sorry, Zamir, Z-A-M-I-R. P-A-O-L-A, Ranan. Ranan, yeah. Uh, Natalie, the last time she was in Israel was four years ago. <laughs> the last time Natalie was in Israel was four years ago. Um, she went to celebrate her grandmother 85th birthday and for the holiday to Israel. And she was very, very happy to go to Israel. And she went to the kibbutz to be with her grandmother for three days and then that's what they captured her. Sir, do you have any indication why Judith and Natalie, they, they are the first, why them on this day? I have no idea. There were reports that it was a humanitarian effort that Judith uh, wasn't in good health. Have you gotten any information on those lines? She got a scratch in her hand, but there was something very minor. So nothing to go No, no, no. no. I think it's just a matter of luck. I have no idea. Have they been reunited with any family there or just with the IDF and in their, their hands? Just with the IDF. Do you know if they were coming together? I think so. I'm not positive. Have you been in touch with other hostages' families? I've been in touch with the one grandmother that her son is held captured there. She lived close by, and we've been talking for a couple times. And be praying for the returns. Sir, do you know where they are right now? Are they at the U.S. Embassy, or are they with the Israelis? They are with Israelis. Yes. What, what, would you give, what message would you send to another hostage's family? Just to keep praying and hope for the best. No, I do not know. I have other family in Israel. I have two sisters and cousins. And I do have other families. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I thank you very, very much.
71 years old. 